Hi friends, in this video, I'll show you how the T2 short return gets filled. I had made a detailed video on T2 nil report. Basically, when you have no income coming in and no expense outgoing, that is absolute zero, you still have to file the corporate tax return and you can file that as nil report. In case you have any transaction, any money involved, then it will not be nil report. You'll have to go through complete detail. So nil report is when you have absolutely no incoming and no outgoing. Basically, your corporation has not done any business. So how that form will get filled, I'll show you. So this is the link which you can find in the description for your ease. And once you come to this link, here you have a PDF fillable and saveable form. Basically, once you open this, it's a four page document and this is a editable document. Once you start filling in here and you save it, you'll be able to take printout or you can do an online filing. So now if you're doing online filing, these are the software. Again, the uh, link will be in the description. These certified software, none of them I could find free. If you find any of the software which is free, do let me know in the comment. But uh, I couldn't find any of the free software. So what other option uh, you have when you don't have a free software is to send by post the T2 nil return. Now, based on your uh, resident corporation, you see here, uh, there's a long list, Alberta, Manitoba. You can go through this. If you fall in this geography, then you will be sending to Winnipeg Tax Center. And if you are in this geography location, then you will be sending it to Sudbury Tax Center. And if you are in any of these geography, okay, so go through this in detail because you see here, you have some of the Ontario location also listed here. Hamilton, Kingston, Kitchener, Waterloo, uh, Ottawa, all of these. Okay. So you will be sending then to Prince Edward Island. So this is the address based on where your geography is, you will be sending. And you could send this by post, Canada post, you can uh, have a tracking number and that way, you know, it is getting delivered and it's getting processed. So this is about the where to send the document. Now coming to the T2 short return to make this video short, I have already filled this form. Okay. So as I said, this is a four page form and you have this detail who can use T2 short return. So you can go and read this at your own time. Okay. Uh, very simple English. You will be able to read through this. And if you find you're not understanding, then taking a professional help will help you even if it means money. Okay. So once you come down here, here, this is the page two here, corporation name, whatever it is given in the incorporation document, same thing gets entered. Same is with business number. And then in this case, now we are in June, 2023, uh, when the corporate tax filing will be happening. And that is for the tax year end. 31st December 2022. Now you need to know your corporate tax cycle. If you don't know, uh, you can just call up CRA and you will get to know when the tax cycle is and uh, based on that, the tax year end, you'll have to fill. So this is uh, one thing. Now when it comes to all these, uh, you know, uh, editable table, enter 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So as I said, there is no incoming and there is no outgoing. So all the entries here will be zero. Same here, zero. Okay. And then same here, zero here. You fill all zeros. Now, when it comes to this page three, you enter the business number followed by RC and the four digit number, which is there in your incorporation document. Then corporation name as in the incorporation document. Then address of head office. If it has changed, then the response will be yes. If it has not changed, then the response will be no. If it is yes, then the address will have to be updated here. Okay. City, province, everything. Same goes with the mailing address. If it has changed, the response will be yes. And if it has not changed, then the response will be no. And then if it is yes, fill the detail. Okay. So location of books and record. If it is different from head office address, uh, here my response is no. The head office and the corporation office, everything is same. You see how it is and choose the response. If it is yes, then you have to provide the address. Okay. If not, then it will be no. So once you fill this, type of corporation at end of tax year. Now, 
I filled in other private corporation. What is your corporation? You can come to this link. Okay, type of corporation, you can come to this link and here you have different type of corporation and it clearly mentions what does it mean. Canadian controlled private corporation, all details are given here. When it comes to other private corporation, all details are given here. So based on what your corporation is, you can just cross reference from here and then select what is applicable. Okay, then this 085, I left it blank when I filled for the first time and I had not done any income. That time I had left it blank. Now, if you want, you can go and read this section uh, and choose accordingly. In my case, I left it. Blank. Now, coming to this part, okay. So, the tax year return is for the duration 1st January 2022 to 31st December 2020 that one year tax cycle okay has there been any acquisition of control resulting in application of subsection 249 okay so the answer is no in case anything of this sort happens then the response will be yes so here the response is no is the date on line 061 that is this a deemed tax year end according to subsection 249 3.1 my response was no is the corporation a professional corporation that is a member of partnership my response was no and then is this first year of filing after incorporation the answer you will choose if it is first year yes if not no okay if it is an amalgamation then you choose the appropriate response has there been a wind up of subsidiary under section 88 my response was no is this final tax year before amalgamation the response here was no is this the final return up to dissolution the answer was no okay now net income as i said there was no income or outgoing so it was zero and that's why it's nil report and the province ontario tax installment paid zero and then if there is any excess payment which is done you can indicate the refund code so assuming that there is no transaction this will be left as it is now once you come down this attachment section i left it entirely blank okay you can read at your own time and then when it comes to additional information is the corporation inactive the response here was yes that's how there was no income or outflow of money and then all this was left as zero okay so once this was done if the corporation's major business activity is construction did you have any subcontractors during the tax year response is no if this return was prepared by a tax preparer for a fee so if you are taking any professional help then they will have the e-file number that will get entered here so once that is done there is the certification part where the last name is entered first name is entered and position whatever the incorporation certificate has the position that is getting filled here and then date you enter the date when you are doing this and signature will be done after everything is filled and the form is filled after that the signature will be done this is not a editable section that's the reason it's not an editable section then you have your telephone number entered here okay and then is the contact person same as authorized signing officer the answer is yes if it is getting filled by you and you are filing if not the answer will be no and then the authorized person's you know name and telephone number so once this is done the last part is language of correspondence okay language of correspondence will be either english or french so if it is english enter one and with this the entire form has been filled okay so you see here this schedule 1s then this form which is the page 1 and then page once this is done all you need to do is take a printout review it and then send to the address what is given here okay so uh, it's that simple i hope you enjoyed watching the video do comment and let me know your thought thank you